Dima, Trench, Nico, Clancy, all of these different things I need you to help me with. Because 21 Pilots is about to come out with a new album. They just came out with Overcompensate, their new song. And I need to get updated on the lore as soon as possible. This is one of the most complex stories where it goes beyond just enjoying and appreciating their music. It's like you have to know the story to fully appreciate everything. And there are people out there like you who know the entire story that I need to learn from. I'm going to tell you what I think. And I want you to tell me where I'm wrong. Tell me where I'm right. And tell me what in the world I am completely missing because now's your chance to fill me in. The interesting thing about 21 Pilots and the lore that they have is they've been able to create a story that spanned albums, I feel like, and it takes years to, to bring about this almost Harry Potter-like novel that's happening, and here we are. So here's my understanding so far. Dima, this place where they keep people. It looked like it was all encircled in concrete. No life, no growth, no greenery no inspiration, no hope. And I feel like everybody's trapped in there, like this circular place, almost like a prison, right? And there's been times where Tyler Joseph, who he says in the song Overcompensate, he's Clancy. So is that true? Is he Clancy? And if he's Clancy, where did Clancy come from? Because then there's Nico, right? Nico and the Niners. Isn't Nico the one who every time Clancy would escape, he would go find him and pull him back in. And he would be trapped once again. And he's escaped multiple times, which I don't think a whole lot of people have done. But on the outside of Dima is Trench, this greenery, this mountainous area, this vast expanse of space that is freedom, honestly, to me. That's the part I'm stuck on because now when you get out to Trench, which some people have gotten to because I think that's where all of kind of the rebels assemble. And at this last video overcompensate at the end, they were at the water and he was seeing the lights. He and Josh were seeing the lights in the distance. And that was letting them know their people are there, the banditos, right? From what I gathered in Overcompensate, Clancy, who was gathering all these people, and I feel like he was talking to them in a gym, but it was almost preaching to them, almost a message of let's come together. And he was wearing red, which from the comments that I read was almost a middle finger, like a rebellion sign of like, now I'm ready for war, now I'm ready to battle. But from what I also saw, Nico, was killed by, I forget the other guy's name, Nico was killed by the other guy. So he is no longer there to pull Clancy back in. And in the video, there is a guy that drops dead or a dead body in the video. Clancy has the horns, which I think is the power, right? To be able to take on the life of someone else. That's where I think he said a guy that can come back to life twice or, or die twice. I forget what it was, but basically meaning he can take on the life of somebody else for a temporary period of time. Is that right? And he took on the life of that person. And that's why it looked like he was two different people. So here's what I'm trying to figure out. Is he going back to war against the powers, the bishops of Dima? Is he going back to battle them, to free Dima, everybody that's in there that's trapped, which is to me, the mental health side. This is to me of you can break free. You don't have to be tied down to the chains of your anxiety, depression, misery, you know, past life stuff that happened. You can break free from that and you can be mentally and emotionally healed. Is he going into battle to fight all of these people so that he can break open the walls of Dima and let, let everybody out to trench? Gets their forces bigger and bigger over time? Or is he battling someone else? He's talking to all of these people who all kind of look robot-like, almost like they are from Dima. It's almost like he's in Dima there trying to talk to them, but I couldn't figure that out from the video. So in the lore, Dima's a bad place, Trench is a good place, right? He's tried to escape, but inevitably ends up getting brought back in. The black around the neck means the anxiety the stress, the depression, all of those feelings that choke him up, that does, don't let him speak. And then he's got black on his hands as well, which means... So this is the part where I get trapped and stuck because of all the different players 
and all of the different possible scenarios. And by the way, if you look at comments from people who talk about it, there's a lot of people who have very different opinions about it. They had that quote, I forget what it was called in the last song that was solo, but it basically everybody was saying that means enable creativity. So I think that's part of what he's wanting everybody to see is that you can enable and unlock your creativity. Who is Nico? Like, where did he come from? Who is a dude that took Nico down, by the way? And why did he actually kill Nico? And then what is Clancy? Is he really Clancy? Because there's people who have said, well, he's not really Clancy. I know he said I am Clancy, but maybe not. I think he is. But who is Clancy? Where did he come from? And what is his true purpose? What is he here to do? And on top of that, can you please tell me about Ned? Who's this little creature that somehow must have a power, a gift, or an ability to pass something down to Tyler or Clancy so that he can have the confidence or have the ability to be able to break free and feel like he deserves the freedom. So who is Ned? Where did he come from? How did he get born? And then on top of everything, where does Josh fit in this scenario? What? Who is he as a character? Is he alongside Clancy and just going on the same ride with him? Does he have a special character, a special name in this journey? Please fill in these gaps because I'm trying to figure out what happens, and this is my ultimate question, what happens if he breaks Dima open? Everybody comes out, the power switches to the people, and they're all out entrenched. Do they create this nice, wonderful life? Is this next album, which by the way, people have said is all lore, is this gonna be the closing chapter of everything having to do with Dima and Trench and all of that stuff? These people will all go away. 21 Pots will still stay alive, but they'll shift to something else. And what will be the final chapter of this story? What will happen with Dima? What will, I mean, will he lock the Niners, the bishops all in there and trap them forever? Will he create a village and a place to live for all of the people that are in Trench? so that they can live freely and not feel like they're gonna be taken in one more time? Or are they gonna go somewhere else? And then the other thing I'm thinking is, how many people are there in Dima? Like how many people are trapped in there? Because I haven't really seen the inner workings of Dima yet. 21 Pilots lore is like no other, and the following is like no other in terms of knowing what it's like. The music having to do with mental health, having to do with struggles emotionally in life and amazing music is surpassed only by the story of which so many people know so much. So what I need you to do is teach me. I need you to walk me through as people have all of the components of Dima, of Trench, of Nico, of Clancy, of Ned, of who Tyler and Josh really are, of what the ultimate end all of this story is gonna be. What is your guess of what this story is going to be? Is it gonna be an ultimate destruction of somebody? Is it gonna be an ultimate freedom of somebody? Where will they end up and what will happen to Dima and what will happen to Trench? Because from what I saw in Overcompensate, he's wearing red, He's ready for battle, as y'all say. He's rallying the troops and he took on the life form. To me, I was like, is he taking on the life form of this other person so that he can go inside there? And they will think he's one of them and Dima again, and they won't notice it's really him and he'll infiltrate from the inside? Or did he take on the life source of that other person for some other reason? And somehow those horns are the power that allow him to take on that as a life form, I think. But when they were at the water at the end of Overcompensate, where did that mean they're gonna go next? Are they gonna go with the other banditos? Are they gonna go back into Dima? So many questions left unsaid, and I need you to fill in the gaps so that we can keep this conversation going step by step. I don't necessarily need you to go through the whole history, although I'd love that history lesson, to go through what does each part mean and what do you think is about to happen by the end of this album? What's gonna be the fate and the future of Dima, of Trench, Clancy, and of everybody else, and of Ned? What is gonna be the final chapter? I love diving into 21 Pilots and the lore that they have. I know so little, I have so much to learn. That's what you're here for. Please give me your comment and let me know so that I can keep 
these videos going as I learn more, I will share more. And then maybe by the end of this album, I will get the entire picture. Thanks so much for being a part of Reaction Therapy. Leave your comments and let's keep talking. See you on the next Reaction Therapy.